Hey guys, Jack Graf. It has been a hot minute since last time I posted a video. But don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm still on YouTube. Um, it's been about, you know, three months since the last time I posted. And that was when ice fishing was in season. But now, ice is about to be off the lake. And it's late March. And it's about 50 degrees actually today. So, um, gotta say, a lot of things have been happening the past two months. Um, I actually got a couple sponsors now for my channel. Before we get to the main part of this video of me showing you my rod arsenal, I gotta tell you about my sponsors. So my first sponsor, Marshall Electric. If you need any electric stuff done in your house or anything, hit these guys up, these guys are awesome. If you ever need some quality lumber or quality, quality poles made out of wood or telephone poles, make sure you head up Bell Pole Lumber and Company. Great company. So, that's basically my new sponsors for this YouTube channel. All right, now for the serious part. All right guys, this one is a six foot medium light fast action walleye rod. Um, I have it set up for with a weeder and a spinner bait right now because my buddy, he's pretty new into fishing, Sam. Um, whenever he comes out, he uses this because it's nice and easy to use and it's a spinning reel. So swingers are obviously really easy to use and it's a nice short rod so he doesn't hit anyone when he casts it because he's still learning how to cast too. So this is a, just a nice beginner rod and you know, I have a P. Fugger President Reel. I think it's the 2500. So, but later in the summer I'll probably switch this to a jigging rod when I go fish for walleye. Probably I troll Rapalas with, the, with this rod too. So yeah, it's just great all around rod for anything basically. So all this, I don't know if you can see this. Legend X, extra fast action, medium light power, 610. This is a walleye rod, walleye tournament series rod. Um, I use this for lindy rigging, jigging, and slip bobber, but right now I have it set up with slip bobber because in the springtime or close to fishing, after fishing opener, I normally slip bobber for walleye. So that's what I have right now. So, but midsummer, I'll probably change this to a Lindy rig or something. It's a legend tournament made by St. Croix. I think it's medium light power, fast action tip, seven foot. And look at this one, blue, shiny. Excuse, pardon my mom. She's coming behind me right now. What's she got going on here? Pardon my mom. Anyways, I have a legend tournament. Let's see, fast action, medium light power, seven foot rod. This is supposed to be used for jigging and just lindy rigging and stuff, but I have it set up for bass fishing this 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 year. I think it's like a four rod hook on twelve pound braid. And you know, I'm just gonna throw some senkos on it and see what happens. Well yeah, it should be a great rod for uh for bass fishing in the spring. This is basically my pike fishing setup for my frog and rod. See, I got the new... Eggs and toast again. This is my pike fishing rod. As you can see, I got the new Shimano Corrado this year. It's looking pretty, pretty snazzy. And seven foot two medium heavy rod, Shimano Compre. And then right now I just have my favorite spender bait on it right here. This thing catches so many fish, it's not even funny. Like, I caught anything, I caught everything from sunfish to a muskie on this thing. It's crazy, but if you ever need a spinnerbait, this is my secret right here. This is what you need right there. All right, and then I got, I think, 40, 40 pound braid on this. So, pretty nice setup for pike. And then, this is one of the rods that I made. I think this is, I want to say it's a medium light. I don't think it's like 6'9". And I got a Shimano Silica on this one with 20 pound uh, P-line on it, monofilament or fluorocarbon. I think it's actually fluorocarbon. And then right now I have a chatterbait tied on to there. Normally I put a little trailer on this, like a, like a paddle tail or something. Add a little bit extra movement and scent to it. But yeah, this is what I use for chatter baits in the springtime. If I'm feeling lucky, I might throw a weightless Senko on this. And then this right here is my ultralight. I have a 
this I catch a bunch of crappy stonefish on this. I think I have like six or eight pound test on my Shimano Sienna. As you can see, nice. Um, as you can see, I got a little jig on here with a flappy tail. tail. Nice moving on the water. I like paddle tails better than this tail. But I need to buy so many baits. I gotta make a fleet farm run or something. But yeah, this is my ultralight. You'll see me this spring catching a bunch of panfish in my videos with this thing. This is musky rod I made. It's heavy, I want to say seven foot long right now. I have a, I think this is a hundred pound leader tied on to a size five or six blade bucktail. Abu Garcia Ambassador reel on this. Really nice reel for the price. I think I got it for like 75 bucks and it works perfect. Haven't had any problems with it and I've had it for like a year and a half now. And yeah, I catch all my big fish on this basically. I think I've caught this past summer three pike over 38 inches on this thing and I lost a huge musky last fall fishing with this. So, you know, I'm looking forward to get back on the water with this this year and hopefully finally catch a musky on it. But we'll see. Our fish are 10,000 casts, so we'll see how many casts will take me this summer to catch one. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to make a video to make sure that you guys know I'm still alive and that I'm still planning on posting on this channel. This may not be the most entertaining video, but, you know, it's the pre-video before fishing season starts and turkey season starts. Um, I got some really good turkey spots this year. I'm going to film a couple of my buddies go turkey hunting too, so hopefully I can pump out three or four turkey videos for you guys. And uh, once fishing season, or once pre-spawn and spawn hits, uh, I'll be doing a lot of fishing. So, pre-spawn should hit in about 18 days, so April... 19th, 20th should be pre-spawn, and then full spawn should be on April 26th to the 29th. That's my predictions. Not sure if that's right, but we'll see. That's what's going to be happening in the future, and I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.